My name is Shannon and welcome to the Cozy Christmas Cottage. If this is your very first time here, I want to stop and say welcome. I'm so glad to have you here. I would also love for you to hit that subscribe button so you can get cozy right here in the cottage with us every single week with new holiday inspiration. Candy canes are such a wonderful traditional item that you'll find throughout the holiday season. You'll find them from decor to baking to gift giving and even to crafting. And I have a little bit of all of that for you today. So let's get right into today's video. All right, so before we get into the very first project, I wanted to show you all of my candy canes. I have over 100 here. I found these on Amazon and I will link them down below. If you have a hard time finding candy canes when it's not during the holidays, I found these on Amazon, so I'll link what I found below. Also, before we get started, give this video a thumbs up if you love candy canes too. I think they are delicious. I also think they are super fun, and I also really, really love the colors. So I may be incorporating this theme into my holiday decor this year. So please subscribe so you don't miss out on upcoming decor ideas. First up is a candy cane cake. And don't be fooled, I actually did purchase this cake from the store. It was only $5. This is a great trick to impress your friends for sure. Basically, all I had to do was put some unwrapped peppermints into a quart size bag. And then I took a kitchen mallet to the bag and just was careful not to crush them up too much. You want some bigger chunks and also some smaller ones. I then just took them over to the cake and put them around the bottom edge as well as the top edge and just did some cute decorating with it. You could put it all over the top of the cake if you want, but I thought the edges was pretty cute. Then I used some unwrapped candy canes and put them at varying heights and stuck them straight into the top of the cake and that was all there is to it. Up next is a candy cane candle holder, and we're gonna make this into one solid piece. And all I'm doing here is hot gluing candy canes upside down onto the bottom of the taper candle. You can find these at Dollar Tree and at Walmart. And you just wanna make sure you lay this onto your countertop to make sure your candle is sitting up straight and not crooked as you're gluing the candy canes around. I also added some ribbon all the way around this and tied a knot just to make sure it stayed secure. And here you have the cutest tapered candy cane holder. So, so cute for the holidays on a table or on an entry. <music>
next is a really cute vase. This vase is actually from Dollar Tree. And then I have a huge bag of these peppermints that I found at our local uh, farm and tractor supply store. They have big bags of all different kinds of candy. The hardest part here was just opening each individual package and putting them into the vase. You can also maybe put something down the middle of your vase to kind of take up some space and then you don't need quite so many of these peppermints. So I just filled up the entire vase or as much as I possibly could and then stuck a fur pick into the middle. You could even put flowers in here or different decor, whatever looks beautiful in your home. This was just a really, really simple and cute idea for a decor piece. This candy cane Christmas tree couldn't be more simple and makes such a sweet and simple gift idea. I'm using a piece of inexpensive felt cut in half. You're also going to cut this piece of felt in half again, so you're going to end up with fourths. At this point, you're going to fold it in half one more time and draw half of a Christmas tree on one side. Cut out your Christmas tree, making sure not to cut through that middle fold. And then once you open it up, you will have a symmetrical Christmas tree. Again, you're going to want to fold this down the center the same way you did the first time and cut slits into the middle. What these are going to do is create little spaces for us to run our candy cane down through and hold the little tree onto the candy cane. Such a simple little project, but I think this would be super cute to give to a class or a Girl Scout troop or Boy Scout troop or anyone you just want to give a little extra special holiday cheer to. This reindeer is kind of along the same lines as the Christmas tree. I'm pretty sure I remember making these in Girl Scouts when I was younger. You just need a few simple supplies you can find even at Walmart or any craft store. I have a brown pipe cleaner that I wound around the top part of the candy cane, took a pencil and made little curly cues to make the antlers, and then hot glued on a red pom-pom for the nose and little wiggly eyes for the eyeballs. If you are crazy for Christmas, you can find even more holiday inspiration over on my Instagram and Facebook pages. You can find me at the Cozy Christmas Cottage. I will also link that down in the description box below. Up next is a candy cane wreath, and you'll need 20 candy canes for this big guy. He's actually a pretty good sized wreath. And you're going to make hearts with your candy canes again. So when you're all finished, you will have 10 sets of candy canes or 10 hearts total. Now you're going to take all of your hearts and line up the points in the center to make a circle and then use your hot glue gluing in between each one of the sides of the heart all the way around. I would suggest putting something in the center that is going to make it a little more sturdy so you can hang it. I've seen a lot of people use uh, snowflakes in the center but you could use anything that you have on hand or is cute and decorative that is in a circle shape. Next, you can add some ribbon to the top of your wreath. That way you have a nice place to hang it from.
You can also use candy canes on your gifts and packages. It's kind of a nice, cute little addition, but also a sweet treat to give with your gift. I'm actually using some craft paper that is from Dollar Tree to wrap my box with and some tape, just making sure I do a nice job wrapping. And then what I'm gonna do is use some red and white baker's twine. I found this at Hobby Lobby. It's in with their scrapbooking supplies and I just wrapped it around the box a few times and then wrapped the candy cane up with a small sprig of greenery to give it some more color. Made sure to tie a knot in the back so it was secure. And, and not only was this a really inexpensive way to wrap a gift, but it's also a really nice, special, personalized touch to it as well. You can also use candy canes in your decor. This is a really sweet and no pun intended way to really add a cute holiday touch to your mantle or any place where you'd want to add a little bit of a garland this is sort of a very unique type of garland i'm using some ribbon and cutting them all down to the same size and then taking my hot glue adding a little bit to the top so i can connect the ends together and just slipped the hook of the candy cane through the loop and then I took these over to my mantle and applied them with some tape. I would suggest possibly using something a little more secure if your tape doesn't want to adhere to your surface. And then you can also add lots of greenery over the top of your mantle or your display cabinet to kind of hide that tape or however you decide you want to attach yours. Mine was just temporary, so the tape seemed to work just fine, but I love the final look of this. Really, really cute and so simple and very, very inexpensive as well. Kitchens are also a fabulous place to add some candy canes into your decor. I'm just placing a silver tin on my stove that's from Dollar Tree, adding a white pitcher to the top and displaying a few candy canes off to the side, adding my sprig of fur greenery into the pitcher, and then adding a few more extra little accessories off to the side on the tray to make a cute little display for our stove. I would love to hear down in the comments below which one of these 10 candy cane projects was your favorite. Please give this video a thumbs up for me. That helps out my new channel so, so much. If you haven't yet, please subscribe so you can stick around for holiday inspiration every single week here on the Cozy Christmas Cottage. And I want to thank you all so, so much for joining me. I will see you in the next one. Happy holidays.